Hello! Welcome, welcome to another episode of Sephora Online. Today we're going to be online on Minecraft. We are in a survival world here, doing survival things. Today I hope that I'm going to be able to get some storage, which will be nice. I don't really have good storage in my cave. All I have is kind of the front of the cave. Nothing else, really. Oops. I'm glad you can join me. Hello, welcome to episode... 21. Oops. Oh, come on. There we go. Welcome to episode 21. Welcome to my cave. Here's my pathetic storage system. Today, if you look at the wall, um, storage is, I guess, up next, really. So, come discover storage with me. I'm going to be discovering this just at the same rate as you are, because I don't really have a plan for storage. I have my place in the cave here, and it kind of goes back and then just drops off, and then we're just back to Cave Au Natural back here. There was a naturally occurring opening, which I've boarded up. And uh, there's a big gravel slide back here that I've tried to stay with by driving rods into the into the gravel. And this is the back side of the cave. Looks like my wool is coming along. Maybe I should grab some more. I'm really interested in getting my character some clothes that, to actually wear. I've been in my survival rags this whole time. The only thing tying myself and my old life to the present, really, ever since being shipwrecked here so many months ago. I wonder if the... Uh, cherry petals will ever propagate. Even if they don't, I like the effect. I might have to plant more of these. We'll see how high they can fall. I think things like that, the atmospheric presence, it's really nice. I might plant a tree inside just to have it. Okay. Let's not get distracted. Um, speaking of distraction, I just realized I don't have any ooh, wood on me. Always have to have some wood. I'm also starting to run out of dirt, so not good signs as far as general upkeep. But that's all right. Okay, how do I make a loom? Do you need string for a loom? I actually have a real loom. And, oh yeah, you need string, not, not wool. Do I have string? I do, I have string. I could totally make a loom. Okay. I'm gonna put one, two in there for a loom someday. I don't think my character is quite there yet with the loom. I do have my nice, whoops, uh, leather coat that I finally have and my boots that make my life so much nicer, but if I can make myself some clothes, that would be that'd be nice. Okay. Storage. Well, I have this big, like, dance floor kind of thing. I could partition this, but I kind of like having it more or less open. Um, until I build something up above, 
which I think maybe I'll take you out over this way. Let's bring the boat. Until I start making things up and above, um, which I've laid one beam down, but still have plenty more t to lay, uh, I might just end up living in this cave for a little while. So um, I'm going to treat it as though that's all I'm going to use. Oh, I just lost my... Come on, little guy. I lost my axe. I'm going to go feed these cows real quick while I'm down here. for um, freshwater fish and then I have this other for saltwater fish and I just haven't you know put too much foliage inside of it but at least the waves are diminished oh do I have these. Boop boy. Come on, little guy. Okay, he's not. He doesn't want to get booped today. Alright, I already put that back. It's time to feed these cows. I'm not going to feed them. Let's go ahead and work on this. Alright. Maybe I should get some more leather. I'm sorry, little cows. It is the way. Oh, wow. All that for just two leather. I should really be raising alpacas. Ah. Nope. Okay. I also should probably... I'll leave that one there for now, but put a, um, ooh, yeah, I'll put the kitchen right here in the middle with the big, um, fireplace thing. I'll have to treat this area. I'll have to coat the posts with something so that they don't get all dried out by the hot air. Then I'll have to cut some kind of a chimney. Or, or, I could redirect flow like a rocket stove and put smoke out to the outside. Mm. I'll probably just do a chimney, but it's going to have to be. There's a lot of beams going on up there. So, but yeah, I like having a kitchen in the middle. I have a cooked chicken. It's kind of cute. Kind of cute. But storage wise, so if I put a kitchen in here, and then I'll put. Yeah, I was thinking about like shelves or something on the walls here. But a lot of the stuff that I need storage for is just like wood. Planks. I'm gonna get that gravel out of there, but um, ah, and then there's this all this gravel that's still in here that I'm gonna have to replace sooner than later. Oops. Oh yeah, those are my boot boards. So you can't, uh, you kind of have to wiggle to get in or the doors are closed. And then anybody who tries to come up here who's not authorized 
gets the boop. Boop. Murder holes. Okay. But storage. Yeah, clothes and stuff. Maybe I'll just like put a closet back here. A nice little closet. It's a little claustrophobic right now, but. Or maybe I'll put a closet in the back over here. Which right now is like my map room. Which I'm working on. Obviously, it's not very good. Yeah, there's a whole mountain range back here that I should, I'd like to explore, but we're way over here. So. Oh, I love exploring, though. Some, maybe next episode. I kind of want to build. So to build storage, I've got food storage. I've got, I should probably make a outdoor well, okay, here's another consideration that I have. Out, oh, string. Free string. I'll be right back. Come here, little string. Thank you for the string. I kind of want to gather some. Oops. Oh. Where's my, where's my Build-A-Box? Mm. Okay. I'm gonna put a Build-A-Box out here. So this whole area, if you look at these cliffs and the weathering that's been going on and the amount of gravel that was in that cave to begin with, um, I'm guessing, yeah, look at the steepness here. Uh, I'm guessing that this area has a lot of erosion and so this gets blasted by storms every once in a while. So I've built my cave way up in the hill. I've carved out a ramp, but you know, this ramp is actually functional if this area ever has a storm surge or something, I can still kind of get out. I don't know if the cows would survive, but certainly everything down here, I'm kind of guessing might end up getting washed away. Sorry, bees. If anything, you know what I should do? I should um, build them a little box up higher, just in case they get displaced. But <sighs> all that to say, if I'm going to put some outdoor storage of certain items, oh yeah, speaking of which, I hope that my posts don't get washed away. They're on stones, and those stones are on stone. But, gosh, I hope they don't get washed away by any kind of storm. There's a lot of pressure on them, though. There's the full weight of this front of the building on, kind of resting on them. And the weight of this floor, because like, as you can see, the floor goes out, then rests on this beam, and then that beam rests on these beams. Which you can't see. I should go p put a peg in that. Hold on. Hold on. I have a couple more left. I think it would look nice. While I'm out here. Let's see. Right there. There we go. So storage is just going to have to be something that I... Excuse me. That I make... That I don't want it to wash away. All that to say, I don't want my storage to just wash away and then I wake up and the storms pass through. That would be kind of 
a, a bummer. There we go. Some pegs. I should probably put some pegs on the backside. Some dowels. But now I don't have an. I need another one. Oh, Ooh, you can make them freehand. Look at that. All right. Now I do have this access under the building that's beside the ramp that I'm not really using right now. And uh, if you see these right there, those are actually just holding back gravel. I don't know if you can see back there. Hold on. That's ridiculous. There we go. Um, oh, we can't see again. Okay, hold on. If you look under there, you can see me building this in the first episodes, but um, my wooden floor is just sitting on top of this bank of gravel, and uh, this stone wall right here is holding it kind of in place. But, and this is supporting these. But I do have this hillside that's not doing anything for me um, because these this building is supported out here by these two posts. So I could carve a little more of this out if I wanted to. That's an option. And an option that I'm kind of partial to. I, I think I want to make this wall out of masonry. I'll start it here and build masonry going this direction to support this beam so that it doesn't get washed away. Um, and then once I do that, once I have a wall here, then I can go back in here and carve this up. Maybe I'll put steps right about here going into, a, I don't know, it's a little bit of an outdoor craft room for storage. Okay. I never put my build a box down. Build a box. I do kind of like the idea of having a, uh, I guess a carpet thing. Whoops. That's four total. I'll just put that down there. I don't really like it right here. I kind of like it to be in front. But uh, now that I'm not doing, um, now that I am not doing, what's the word I'm looking for? Trees out here, because I used to have my spruce tree out here. Now I'm not really gonna have. really gonna have more of this stuff. So maybe some stone instead. Yeah. I'll do that again. It's fine. I wanted to go back over here and take up some. Ooh! String. Give me a little string. There we go. I like sand. Big fan of sand. Not just because of its glass and properties which my character has not yet discovered. But, um, I like the color of it. It's just a bright, happy, kind of a soft, gentle yellow. And I'm down with that.
probably get some leaves now that I have these shears I'll probably get some leaves and fill this area in with leaves but until that time I'm gonna fill it with dirt what should I do about this little sand as much as I like sand like from a beach perspective well I'll leave that you know what I'll leave it I just know that it's also being wasted down below because there's nothing down here to enjoy so I'm gonna go collect it and I'll put the sand back on the top bright and happy. I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'll put sand there. There we go. There we go. Turn and turn this whole area into just sand. But ah, I just love it so much. Okay, speaking of which, same with this. I kinda wanna fill this in. But to do that I'm gonna need to not need to. I want to harvest all the sand. Right now. want to fill it with dirt, but I might have to, because that's all I have right now. But I don't have a lot of dirt. I'm not going to fill it with wood, although I should, because wood is renewable. It is it is biodegradable, and I feel bad about burying wood in seawater. Although, if it's cold enough, well, that's a totally different conversation. All right. <sighs> Storage. So I have some masonry here. 64. Ah, stop it. There we go. Um, one of the things that I want to do with this masonry is... I want to... Um, buttress it. To make it stronger for the material. Well, not even for the material, I guess I just, it makes me think that that's what my character would do. So to do that, we're basically going to add ribs. I'm going to just add all this. And we're going to add it using the stone wall feature. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oops. Alright, let's get rid of some of this. Hold on. We'd have to do it all the way down to the ground. Ugh. Okay. Do I have... Okay, no, I do. I have some... Some cobblestone left. Alright. Is it overkill? Yes, it is. Is it my overkill? Yes, it is. Okay.
to the bedrock. And packed his... F Oops, I'm sorry, little chicken. What you gonna do about it? Oh my gosh. Okay. First layer. Solid. Second layer. And do one, two, one, two. Um. I guess I do want to go one layer over past. At least one layer, excuse me. At least one layer past. Hey, hey, hey. Back off. Mm. <sighs> but I don't really want to have. This be what's behind this. So I guess we're just gonna do. Excuse me, chicken. Okay. So, ribbed. Ribbed. Up. Up. Ribbed. Uh oh. Escape. Escape, cow. Cowscape. Ugh. That's right. You're gonna be turned into leather. There you go. You'll see what I mean. Anyways, it's, um... A vertical component that adds rigidity because it gives it another axis that it has to tilt on, or twist on, however you want to call it. Well, uh, I just I changed my mind. So if I go down here and I use this, <gasps> oh no, I can't. Ah, oh, I'm dumb. Okay. There we go. Oh shoot, I just did it again. Nope, I'm dumb. There we go. I've decided to add this because it gives a layer of air behind the uh behind the lumber, which allows it to dry out, and dry wood is good. Okay. Escape cow. How? How cow escape? How'd that happen? Alright. Fine. Hang on a second. A little more farming. Okay. Come with me. Come on, little hungry. Come on. Everybody back in. is to have baby and dot oh wait I shouldn't be using the iron sword iron is at this stage of my construction not renewable all right so what you can see what I mean by having it kind of like go back and forth it uh, it just makes it stronger a wiggle wall you know so these resist turning this way and this resists turning this way and you say oh but a solid wall would be you know stronger wouldn't it well 
Yeah, but like for the amount of material that you're using, you can always get it stronger and more. Or just as strong, I guess I should say, not stronger. Just as strong, but with a good third less of the, the material. Or more, you know? So, I'm going to keep building this up. One, look at that. Okay. So, and then I'll probably turn the corner and do the same thing. This is kind of a temporary wall. I know that this is being supported, um, but I kind of threw this wall together pretty quickly. So, at least on this side, I might turn this corner um, using block, solid block. I believe that I have. Yes, I do. I have some. And now I'm going to polish some more. Put this away, put this away. Sorry, a little detour while we're up here. Oh, wow. I think I might have accidentally let some burn for too long. Okay, let's polish this. Boom. I've got to get some gravel barrels outside. Oh right, I was going to make a silo. Because uh, I've got so much gravel that I need to manage. So if I make a silo somewhere, um, that will allow me to store it and access it really easily. So I think for my gravel storage, I'm going to have a silo. To build a silo, I'm going to need a heck ton of barrels. And that we can do. What need build barrel? For a barrel, you need two parts. You need one part slab to three parts stuff. Blocks. So I have 64 of those. So now I have one of those. And now I need three parts of that. I think. Is that right? Well, it is now. It'll be close. We've got a lot. There you go. Barrels. It's a lot of, a lot of storage, but it's mostly just the looks. It'll look like. It'll it'll volumetrically hold more. Okay. Kind of talking gibberish now. Well, not gibberish, but I'm kind of talking ahead of myself. Okay. So, let's start. Well, we, yeah, we can put that down. We'll put a block there, and there, and a block, and there, and a block, and a block, and there. To turn the corner. What do you think? Solid blocks? Or, should we integrate this way? I think that looks better. I mean, a solid block in the base is nice, but the way that they have these textures. Um, placing these makes it look as though this brick kind of overlaps into the space and ties it together, making for a very strong connection. So I guess I don't need a whole bunch of these. What I do need, uh oh, that's my emergency stock. Hang on. <sighs> okay. Let's 
speaking of emergency stocks. Okay, what I do need is more cobblestone that I don't have. And speaking of storage, I believe that this gravel is out of hand. So I am moving it. Because I can't even hardly see what I have in here. So pause on that project. I'm gonna go implement gravel storage. And then we'll be back. Okay. Hold on a little while, we'll get to you. Let's go out back. Shimmy up this wall again. Ooh, hi there. You look well to do. Did you hurt? Ah. My poor guest. Alright, look at all this gravel. So here's a beam, and it's being balanced. Trust me, there's a there's a block under here that it's being balanced on. There it is. Um, and it's cantilever it's balanced out to here, and then it's cantilevered out that way, and then I've got it, you know, post here. So we're all good out here. I could use the gravel silo as a structural element. Because look at all this gravel I have to clear off. We gotta clear off all this gravel. This is loose. It's loose. What are we gonna do? <sighs> so all of this stuff I could scoop and just kind of dump into something that's nearby. Um, I've got a lot of gravel down here as well. It's also gonna have to be scooped out and kind of dumped down somewhere. So I'm think I'm just thinking like the potential, the gravitational potential of moving all this stuff downhill. Um. Cuz if I slide this off and just shove it, you know, if I rake it into a big pile right here and then and then dump it into something down there. What I could do is I could start, okay, okay, new plan. All right, so I'll start at the bottom. I'll put the gravel, I put a, I'll put a silo down here. I'll scoop this gravel into the bottom and then the inside will be you know, flat and level with this. Then I'd scoop the rest of this whole mountain down and as it goes in, it'll fill up and up and up and up and then it will become easier and easier Something like that. Obviously, none of that's what's going to happen in Minecraft world, but this is a good plan. So, right here at the bottom. Um, should it be 3x3? Three three? Or... Two by two by two by two. Two by two by two by two. I kind of like that. Oh, this is not happening. I just want to... Ugh, this is more gravel. What's a... Mind at the bottom? More gravel. Ah. Okay. Is that enough, do you think? It'll be really small on the inside. I don't think it would look right. I mean, we've clearly got more than enough um, actual material. But I'm thinking that maybe one more layer. So 
we'll go out one, and then we'll connect them. And I don't know why I'm making this perfectly flat, but I just feel like it. There would obviously be drainage. I should probably put, probably plan on having drainage somehow. Because you would not want this filling up with water. Because it'll be open top for a lot of its, um, So I'll have to put drainage in. I'll take it back. I do have to put drainage in. Okay. Okie doke, okie doke, okie doke, okie. There it is. Beginning of a silo. We're going to need a lot more. Wow. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more. Okay. Which way to the ocean? That would filter out some fresh, nice fresh water for us. This is also another way that I could put drainage. But it's also possible that there's contaminants or something. I'm just not sure if I want to put drainage into my own reservoirs. All but, well, no, because I think that it'd be a feature. I could even run water into this nice stack of gravel and then water would flow out nice and clean generally speaking so I don't know especially if I put clay down at the very bottom I would have to bake it though Ugh, I'm torn okay I will put a drain, I will cut a drain pipe into the system. I will cut drainage in. So we're going to replace these with stairs, and then we'll put the drainage, and it's going to go that way eventually. But not right now. Not at this exact moment. At this exact moment, I am trying to escape this pit that I've dug for myself. Because I don't have any torches with me. Okay, I'll be back. You thought that storage would be a simple episode. No. Not with Sefo. But I think it'll look nice. Did I put any of the gravel in it? No. But I think it'll look nice. Where are... Ah. There it is. Okay. Oh, sand. I could put a sand filter at the bottom. No, you're right. Okay, we'll use sand. No, I kind of want to use clay. Okay. So I have terracotta. Did I ever fire the terracotta? Uh, okay, the filtration system can come in a minute. Oh gosh. What do I need? I still need... I need like stairs. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six stairs. I need a bunch of this. I can't bake any of it because I don't have any of this. So, here's what I'm going to do. Take it all back. Well, not all of it. I'll be right back.
is what's going to happen for now, for this episode. I'm going to start filling this up with gravel. <sighs> so stairs, um, you know, drainage, 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 going out. to just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Oh gosh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I don't know where I am anymore. Um, and I'm not even sure, okay, so I'm down one, plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, minus, or six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. <gasps> oh gosh, that scared me, oh Jeez. Wow. Okay. Alright. Nope. Nope. You get the boop. Excuse me, sir. This is private. Alright. So, I think we're like two layers up. <sighs> wow, that gave me quite a start. Okay. And then we're this way, and then we're this way, and we're going diagonal. So I, th I think we'll, I think we're, I'm in a good direction. What I don't have are um, torches. I should grab some torches real quick. Mm. This is quite complicated, as is everything. Oh, wow! That really startled me more than most things in this game typically do. I'm just going to say that. I'm going to say it and we're going to leave it at that. All right. Here are my torch making materials. I just saw some. I've got some back in here, so we're going to make some torches. Plus, I've been out of torches for a little while, so hang on. make one set. I'm going to put this in the cooker because I need some more for my projects. And I'm going to go walk this way. I was not expecting that. Okay. I do like it this way, so when I turn a corner, I will carve out two, and I'll put the torch in it. So I'll turn the corner, carve out two, so one, two, three, four, five, Six, 
seven. Hmm. Not sure where I am. This is where a map would be really helpful. Gonna go ahead and harvest this vein and then backfill it with cobble. That's okay. But I don't want coal contaminating my water. But I'm not sure what the what the is going on. Where am I? I'm like digging underground and uh not sure exactly where. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Well, I guess it's time to go get some mappage. I could also count. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, so from this spot. So from this spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the eight, it's just diagonals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15 diagonals. 8 and 15. That I can do. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then it's 15 diagonals. 1, 2, 3, 4, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I need to go one, two, three, four more, and I'll be at this location. Four more. Five, six, seven, about seven, and I'll be in the middle. And that's kind of what I want. Okay, got a plan. I can count to seven. One, two, three, four. here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is normally the spot that I go down to maintain a slope. Let's see where we are in... Okay. Uh, so I was at 1, 2, 3... Is that right? Yeah. 1, 2, 3... the water. Nice. Okay. Alright. So this is simulated and I don't obviously have 
water flowing out here just yet. This should go all the way. Ah, I messed up. Okay. Sorry, we'll amend it as we go. There we go. And then this section will have like a freshwater component coming out. And so this will be continuously fed with a column of fresh water. It's gonna be gorgeous. Alright, well, travel storage started. I'm gonna go check it out and see if I can just make a whole bunch more barrels real quick. The drainage system itself shouldn't take that long either, so hang on a second. If you bear with me, I think we'll get this done this episode. Alright, so this is my emergency supply. Well, not emergency. Backup. Call it a backup supply. For tools and such. Oops, forgot to deposit that. So I gotta bake this terracotta. In fact... If it's one, two, three, four, five... There's a lot. I need a lot more. Okay, hang on. Interception. Oh, terracotta's already baked. Isn't it? I don't know. I'm confused. I honestly don't remember. I'm gonna have to put the terracotta back in and find out. So in the meantime, more barrels. To do barrels, I'll need spruce, and I'm gonna be running out of spruce pretty soon. So we'll see how many barrels I can make. Just gonna keep making as many barrels as I can. So it looks like one, two, three, oh, six. Was, that was the limit before it came back. Okay. We'll just take a little bit more, just a little more. Thirty. Thirty's a nice round number. I like thirty. I guess I should have counted how many um you know pieces I actually need, but Good gracious. Okay. Did I want to use sand? Yeah, I wanted to use sand and then terracotta. So we'll bring some sand. Terracotta. I wanted to use um, this stuff. Cut stone. I think that would be... best? Or would that leak? Hmm. I should probably use the andesite for the steps. Okay, hang on. Alright, so I'll need one, two, three, four, five, six steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Stairs, excuse me. Nice. All right. More stone into the system. Okay. So I'm gonna need this, I'm gonna need that. I guess I don't need um, this specifically. I did want 
I guess the stone. Put the gravel away while I'm out there. I was gonna make more, but I forgot. And that can be made here, to be honest. And then a little bit of this. Since I was out. Okay. It's night time, so. Let's sleep first. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, I think that terracotta, since it's already, yeah, I guess I don't, yeah, I don't need glaze or anything. That'll make a really nice filter. Oh, I'm so happy. This makes me really happy. Hey, little sheep, how'd you get out? I think they're just naturally occurring. Okay. Let's do this. So, the water is filtering a through here. Oh, whoops. Ah, dang it. Okay. Well, tis what tis. Um, that'll support this, I hope. Ah. Well, yeah, because it's built into the wall there. No, I don't like it. Don't like it, don't like it. Hold on. I need this to be um, properly... the word I'm looking for? Uh, okay, this is a waste. Slightly a waste. But I need... I need two of these. Uh, okay, it's painful. It's painful, but I'm doing it. Okay. So this goes here. This goes here. Uh, which... This is probably full, isn't it? Okay, no, it's not. Let me out. Uh, okay. Then these... Oops. Nope. Nope. Wait, what? Oh, I did it wrong. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm making this harder for myself. This also goes here. Okay, there we go. That all works. That all absolutely works. Okay, that supports this water. Over this, we put our slimy boys. Okay, I did not calculate correctly, or something along those lines. I guess I was counting on this being open, perhaps? There we go. That'll give us a nice flow of water. All right, and now, terracotta. That will weep out nicely, I, I shouldn't wonder. I guess, technically speaking, yeah, I probably should. Okay, yeah, I'll probably, probably, actually put the gravel in one of the spots that I'm actually going to have access to, which could be any of, any of these. 
Like, you know, this is not, this is way overkill for how much actual storage this provides. Whoops. Keep forgetting. I have... I have this. I should use it. some of this, I should use this. Alright. Nope, still nothing. Um, I'll just keep adding layers. Whoops. I'll bet you're sitting there, like, cringing, going, oh, don't do it. Keep pushing it when I'm not crouched. So in order to place things onto other elements that have activation, you need to have you need to be crouching. And obviously I'm not crouching a lot of the time. Okay. I don't know why I keep doing that, but where, where, where should I, okay, hold on, I'm going to put the bed down, I'm going to go liberate this, because it's at the very bottom, nice, there we go, alright, um, let's do this one. I have a feeling that since it's already exposed, I'll simply always have access to it from the outside. Okay. Well, that was quite an adventure. Internal bracing, you say? Mmm, maybe. Maybe every once in a while. Yeah, maybe on top of this I could add a layer of internal bracing. However, I feel like the static pressure and the bands of iron that are implied here. Although this is probably more like oiled hemp rope or something, because I don't think my character has gobs of iron laying around. I don't have a smelter laying around. So the staves, you know, being filled, it's a, it's kind of like a HESCO barrier, where you fill it with sand, you know? So even though there's going to be a lot of pressure outwards, the there's pressure inside the barrels as well, kind of hold, and that's like woven together. I would imagine my, these would go out and then in and then out and then in and then out. I don't know. Who knows? I just, I'm just thinking that if I put wood bracing in between, that's like against an outwards pressure vessel, and this would act like an interior pressure vessel pushing out. And so bracing from the outside makes more sense than bracing on the inside. Unless I just pretend that those are, you know, ropes, then that'd be okay. But I think I'm just going to cap my imagination at that there's rope in between. Okay. Great. <laughs> I've built a silo in which fresh water can flow beautifully. Maybe I'll go ahead and use these up real quick. Just be like, nah, 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 nah. eat away some of this. It sounds like eating, so I always imagine that. You know, as far as the gravel is concerned, it's being eaten. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Meow, meow, meow. Doesn't it sound like eating? Sounds like eating to me. Just use it both 
both of these shovels real quick. So this is not a lot of gravel, to be honest, per shovel. It's like, what, two? Two stacks? Now that this is stone, I can get a lot closer to it because I don't have to stack the gravel in a way that's not going to landslide on me and kill me. Landslide onto my character, causing asphyxiation and death. Because, yeah, you don't get crushed, but what happens is um, it compresses you and then you can't breathe and then you slowly asphyxiate. That's probably too much TMI for this channel, for YouTube, but... Yeah. Now you know. Boom. We'll probably have loads of flint as well. But flint, I feel like, is a... Um, Flint is a renewable, right? Okay, so do I need... I need to have a conversation. I need to have a serious conversation. Alright, I'm taking my plate and my little button and I'm putting those away. I'm putting my sand taking my sand from wherever it is. Ooh, actually. I've got some fun terracotta in here, and I'm going to take this hand out as well. Now that I have a dedicated location for real construction supplies in here, rather than just endless gravel. And I'm going to take these and put them there. <sighs> I'm going to go to the water and grab some fresh water. I like to carry fresh water rather than salt water, so just bear with me. Fresh water from my water fountain. Okay. Oh yeah, I should, I should gather this because that's where I'm going to go my last act of the episode, I'm going to investigate this whole situation. I have a bit of a situation here with the cherry trees that I need to investigate. I always feel like there are a lot of things that you can look up, and most of them are just worth discovering. Kind of the fun of it, to be honest. Some things it's like, okay, my character could totally figure it out, I just need to look it up. But some of this is just fun to discover. Okay. So, okay, so I don't actually have cherry blossoms with me. Those must have gotten left behind. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's no cherry blossoms in there either. Okay. And this is this this is all my real storage, just FYI. So the interior storage hasn't really improved. But I've started working on this outside wall, which is nice. And I've started... Here, hang on. Let's make some paper. <sighs> so I've got to go back to the cherry blossoms. 
footprints they be. To the east is nothing. Basically nothing. To the west, I have to go all the way around here. All the way around here. Down here, down this coast. Back up the coast, because this must be a false valley. And then... These are the first cherry blossoms that I found. And, uh... Yeah, and this is where I started getting lost. Right here, on this hilltop. On my return journey, I started going this way. And I got turned around, and I went... I ended up down here, I believe. Yeah, somewhere down there. So... Maybe next time we'll go... I only have seven pieces of redstone left, but basically I know that I'm gonna use them for... I'm gonna use them for... Compasses, so I might as well. Just go ahead and make them. Because that's what I'd use the iron for as well. What's this map again? Oh, this is the same as that map. This is uh, map level 3. So yeah, this is just a copy of this. Yeah, my bad. Whoopsie. So 11. So map... whoops. Oh! Okay. Um. Oh, because it's not blank. Okay, so I just... I legit have, like, a, a second copy that I will never probably end up using. My bad. I don't know what to do with this map, then. Oops. Well, first of all, put that one on the map. On the wall. Ah, that's awkward. Well, that's, I guess. Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed digging a trench and learning about water filtration with me today. We'll see you next episode. Oops. Come on. Full wave. There we go. Bye-bye.